Let's make a simple make file for our project. All make files are named make file. And uh, make files have various targets in them. They all start with uh, the word all would be the default target. And it must begin with a tab, the next line. And uh, we use debugging symbols. Um, now what we'll do is we'll compile high C and save it as high O. So C high C O high O. That just uh, does the compiling and that makes it into an object file. The reason why we're going to use an object file is going to be explained later. Um, let's see. But well, we can take our object file and link it with several other object files if we wanted to. But we don't have any here in this one during the linking step. Um, let's see. We make our final executable. That's our linker. We could actually add some linker flags here if we needed them, but we don't. Not for this program. Now, we can use object dump here as part of our um, make file. We can look in our object file with um, object dump and uh, store the results in uh, hi.asm and that's our make file. Now it performs all these steps and if we look at the high ASM we can see it's disassembled our program for us. There's our int main and underneath it it shows the assembly instructions. That's very handy. And that's what the object dump does, makes our assembler here uh, disassembly of the program. And um, look at that. There's a, a program statement, and this is the equivalent machine language instruction. So what's it doing? It's calling my function with uh, this data here, this high there data. It says move this row data into uh, onto the stack and then uh, call my function which is up here. There's my function and then it does some fancy stuff with the stack and returns a call to uh, printf. So it's just printing um, does this program translated to machine language instructions that we can that's assembly. You see the uh, GCC creates an assembly dump here, an, an object file, and an object dump turns it into a, an assembly. <clears throat> now our make file can also have a clean target, and that just removes all, everything that we're not using, um, which is high and I dot o, or we can go like that. Now, <clears throat> when making a make file, um, we'll oftentimes um, wrap these variables, or these function names, program names, with variables. So, like instead of GCC, we might call it uh, CC, and then uh, we might actually, uh, you know, give this a name and then do something fancy with the shell to uh, get the name something like that you might see in make files I don't know it depends I've seen that happen um, and sometimes they'll have include directories and uh, various stuff like that um, yeah um, Maybe they'll have the uh, LD flags. 
but we're not using any of that in our make file. <clears throat> Still, we could we could change these. We could change those to CC. And uh, we could change this here to our program name. Still does the same thing. It's just more portable, I guess. Now, people who uh, compile this, they can change the name of their compiler. Maybe compile it for a different uh, architecture or something if they want. Um, they can change the name of the program, um, change other things around. Anyway, that's how make files work. That's how disassembly works using the object dump. And uh, there's a simple program and a simple make file. Enjoy.